So as promised, I mentioned when I previewed the Sea Stars collection fragrances from Tiziana Terenzi that I would end up reviewing one fragrance. A full review, and we are doing a full bottle giveaway to subscribers of the channel from the USA, thanks to the distributor of uh, the house of Tiziana Terenzi. I initially thought I was going to end up reviewing Poggia, this one right here. But after testing and testing and testing, then I thought, you know what? I might do Atlantide or Atlantide, this one right here. But in the end, I really, really fell in love with Telea, this one right here. In fact, when I met Paolo Terenzi last year, a year or so ago in Cannes, I was really drawn to this one. I kept coming back to it. And, you know, I had kind of forgotten about it. But when I was testing the fragrances to do my first impressions uh, video of all, all five fragrances, I really did fall in love with this, but in the end, I really am obsessed with the way Telea smells. And today, I've got a full review for you for Telea. I'll tell you everything about this fragrance, why I like it so much, and also, as I said, thanks to the distributor of uh, Tiziana Terenzi Fragrances, the fragrance group, we do have one full bottle of Telea for subscribers of this channel from the USA. So, if you want to find out about Telea, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today we're talking about Telea from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Let me ask you guys, how many of you are fans of this house? Uh, if you caught my video yesterday, I did a video on incense fragrances, and I featured two Tiziana fragrances in that video, Ladano Nero and Ecstasy. But today, it's all about Telea. But before I get to you telling you all about this fragrance, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So yeah, how many of you are fans of Tiziana Terenzi and what are your favorite fragrances from this house? Please put a comment down so I can find out. I discovered Tiziana Terenzi probably around 2015, maybe 2016 here in San Francisco. Um, and uh, I, I was familiar with some of the fragrances uh, at Barney's but I was invited to come and meet Paolo Terenzi and that's how I discovered the, the house and met Paolo and he was actually making, f no, I don't think he was doing that the first time he came. He came a couple times, but uh, you know, I got to discover and learn and I ended up buying a bottle of fragrance there from that event uh, called Marema. So that was my very first fragrance, but now I have a lot of different favorite fragrances from this house and they do crank out a lot of great fragrances. And in fact, this particular collection is a, a great collection, very, very blingy, of course, with the sea stars on top of the bottles, as you can see, the starfish, um, a great bottles. The bottles are similar to other bottles and uh, just have this be beautifully blinged out, uh, you know, the sea stars, uh, starfish. I guess they're more called sea stars, they're not called starfish, but I, I tend to default to starfish. So I actually ended up going to um, Monterey Carmel recently and I took all the bottles with me because I was going to the beach and it was a warm time. And I ended up photographing all the fragrances that I'm going to flash here in a little bit. But let me tell you about uh, Tiziana Terenzi's Telea. So the fragrance was introduced last year, I got to preview them, as I said, uh, later last year, around October uh, of last year. And they launched a few months ago. So Sea Stars Collection Telea is a 2020 launch. The fragrances always uh, at uh, Tiziana Terenzi come in Extrait de Parfum concentration. So when you see the words Extrait de Parfum, you'll know that that's the highest concentration of perfume oils in a, in a bottle of perfume. So what does that mean? It means it's going to last a long time, uh, a really long time. And they are very, very potent uh, experiences. So they do charge an arm and a leg for the fragrances, obviously. This is $550 for 100 ml, but they have a very long lasting quality to them. The perfumer is Paolo Terenzi of all the fragrances. Um, this is considered a fruity floral, maybe a fruity floral musk for me. Um, and the additional fragrances in this collection include Cubia, Orza, Poggia, and Atlantide, which I showed uh, Atlantide and uh, or Atlantide uh, and Poggia to you right here. So I decided to. Uh, well, these are the three fragrances I was going to initially end up, one of the three fragrances I was going to initially end up reviewing for you guys. But in the end, Talea really won me out 
this is the way I should hold it. And also, as you can see, the uh, the font on Talea is different than the font on uh, the other two fragrances. And the other thing with the Atlantide is it's got that water, in, the, the juice inside that, as you can see, and this particular fragrance is the fragrance that is in the, the underwater. Um, so it comes with an under, the water, uh, it's called the underwater fragrance, and it sits inside and you could see the, the water moving around. So very, very unique uh, concepts. So the notes in Telea are at the top, Calabrian bergamot, Sicilian orange, hawthorn flower, rose and pear, heart notes, ambergris, jasmine, Peruvian heliotrope, patchouli and ylang ylang, and finally in the base notes, ambergris, musk, Tahiti vetiver, mahogany, oak, and Cambodian agarwood. So what do we get with this one? The fragrance definitely does remind me of the Tiziana Terenzi style. I really love this kind of fruity floral style that he does surrounded with woods. Um, this one features prominently to me the note of pear. Pear along with ambergris and musk are really, really stand out, but also rose and hawthorn. Now, hawthorn as a flower uh, has a honeyed smell to it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous uh, smell. I've smelled plenty of it, and it just has a very fantastically honeyed floral smell. And here, you can totally pick it up, and there is a honeyed quality throughout the fragrance. But when you first spray the fragrance, you do have that orange and bergamot blast, but immediately rose and pear take over with the hawthorn. I feel like the rose, pear, hawthorn really run the show here at the top. And this is the part that I really love about this fragrance. Of course, the orange and uh, bergamot does freshen up the top notes, but for me, what stands out are the hawthorn, rose, and pear. Honey and pear kind of go hand in hand sometimes, or well, actually all the time, because I've had desserts, you know, with a kind of like a honeyed, caramelly kind of a uh, uh, baked pears, basically. So I feel like honey, the honey qualities or the honeyed qualities with the hawthorn flower really do match the pear brilliantly. With that rose, uh, it's a standout smell. It's a blast that you're really going to enjoy because I love this initial blast. It's a, it's a fantastic smell. The rose uh, is not your typical rose because you have all these other notes that are kind of like competing with one another. In the end, you're not smelling like rose when you would smell it off of the flower. It doesn't come off that way. It isn't blended nicely and you pick up nuances of the rose, but it's not like an in-your-face rose. What happens for me in the heart is it does get a little powdery for me from that heliotrope and the jasmine, and there's a little bit of an ambergris note that comes in here as well. So the ambergris has this kind of like a slight oceanic marine quality and a little slight animalic quality. And of course, uh, for me, the heart notes uh, are also not overly dense because what happens in the base is all the den dense, dense notes, uh, the, the base notes is basically what dense notes are. Uh, the, they're, they're not the light notes. and uh, what happens at the top in the heart, it's, it's a lighter experience. It's actually very airy, but a dense airy, you know, because the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances are definitely intense experiences. Even though you're dealing with these beautiful, fragile notes, mostly, there are some more uh, intense uh, notes in the heart. But I feel like what really rules in the top and the heart notes are the more, uh, you know, the, the airy notes, which is what I really love about this, and it gives it a very airy, fresh experience. Again, I'll stress the fact that Tiziana Terenzi fragrances are more dense experiences experiences, they're intense experiences, so you are dealing with these fresher floral, you know, types of notes, but it's an overdose of them, so it's pretty intense. But for me, when the fragrance dries down, it gets really musky. In fact, I think the musk is so prominent in this that kind of like, you know, bleeds into the heart notes. You kind of experience the muskiness throughout the fragrance. Here, there's a little bit of oud, not too much, a little, and light touches of vetiver as well. But for me, the standout notes are mahogany and oak. Uh, it's kind of like a blend of mahogany and oak. And these are kind of woodsy notes that you don't see pop up too much in fragrances. And I'm glad that they've added these two notes in this uh, section of the fragrance because, you know, it typically is sandalwood or cedar wood, sometimes guyac wood. But oak and mahogany are rare in uh, fragrances. At least I don't have too many fragrances that feature these two notes. And here it's a pleasant surprise along with that musk note in the, in the base as well. So in the end, it's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It's a great smelling fragrance. It's a fruity floral fragrance. And, um, and it's, it's really, really cool because 
what happens for me, the experience I'm experiencing with this fragrance is because we're dealing with these lighter notes at the top and the heart and uh, the, the base is all wrapped around these lighter notes and just imagine a balloon like it's trying to rise. The base is trying to pull down these notes but the lighter notes are kind of like trying to pull it up. So it's kind of like they're competing with one another for a very, very beautiful, fruity, floral, musky, woody uh, experience. I really did fall in love with this one. I enjoyed this fragrance a lot. I mean, in fact, it was a kind of a toss-up with this one, but uh, Poggia, but in the end, uh, this Telea is, is fantastic. It's a great smell. I feel like this could be put to use great in the spring and summertime or any time of the year when it's cold outside to, you know, spray some of this on and it's a nice blast of happy. It's such a happy fragrance that you make me, I mean, you, you end up wanting to smell it over and over again. So I don't know if that happens with you guys and you experience, this, uh, you experience fragrances that way. Some fragrances act very sad, some are very happy. But this is a very happy, uplifting fragrance. And that's kind of what I like about it, especially during these times when everything has gone chaos and you want some, you know, uh, grounding happiness to uh, take you uh, out of your uh, whatever uh, sad mood that you might be in. Anyway, this is Talea from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. I really do like this one out of all five of the fragrances that I've sampled and I enjoyed wearing it. And uh, I want to to put together a, a section of the, uh, this review at the end of the uh, video after the credits with some of the photos that I was able to shoot of um, uh, the entire Sea Stars collection. So hope you guys end up staying around to watch those uh, photos. And in fact, I will actually Instagram them all as well on my Instagram account. So if you're not following my Instagram, I hope you guys do. It's at the perfume guy, so you can just find me there. Now for the giveaway, uh, again, this is sponsored by the Fragrance Group. Uh, they are the distributors of Tiziana Terenzi for the USA. So uh, just to clarify, those of you that complain to me all the time and say, why don't I have a giveaway that's uh, for worldwide? And I'm like, because the distributor of Tiziana Terenzi in the USA is called the Fragrance Group. They don't really have business outside of the USA, so they can only ship to the USA. So that's why this particular giveaway is sponsored in the USA, but if you have a relative or a friend who can accept your package, if you are a winner, by all means put down USA that you want to participate. So, on um, for the giveaway. First tell me why you like this review. What did what stood out actually? Let me know what stood out about Talea that makes you want to win it. Also let me know what is your favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrance currently. If you haven't or don't have a favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrance, let me know what have you been eyeing like you've seen and you've heard about. And lastly, please put down your state and make sure you're subscribed uh, to my channel so you can qualify. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching this review for Tiziana Terenzi's Talea. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.